My name is Tech Evolved and I'm the most honest man alive. When I was a child I saw YouTubers do the impossible, until I became a YouTuber and became the impossible. To the outside world I'm just a regular gamer, but with the help of my friends in the Tech Evolved community, I find others just like me. And one day I will get 10,000 subscribers and get justice for my editing. I am the reviewer. Previously on The Reviewer. During the prom, April gets a vision and tries to warn the others, but she's too late. Because this is when Ram's girlfriend gets dusted by a blade through her chest, and Ram gets one of his legs cleanly chopped off. This is a bit of a mess, isn't it? I used to be the caretaker here, you know? Before it got all fancy, this is going to be quite a clean-up job. You've heard of me, haven't you? You are the great destruction of the universe. Yes, but most people just call me the Doctor. So Barry Allen is a forensic scientist that is working for the CCPD, also known as the Central City Police Department, with his adopted father, Joe West. He was adopted after his mother's untimely death that his dad was sent to prison for. Joe also has a daughter called Iris West that Barry is madly in love with. It really doesn't matter to him that they are practically brother and sister, does not seem to be a deal breaker at all. Even though we pretty much grew up in the same house together and we're kind of like brother and sister, Kind of like brother and sister. During a particle accelerator test that is spearheaded by Harrison Wells, there is a malfunction which makes the particle accelerator explode, and you guessed it, Barry gets hit by lightning. He goes into a coma and none of the medical staff can actually help him, so Joe and Iris accepts the offer from Harrison Wells to take him to Star Labs because they have the equipment and possibly the better understanding to help make him better. He wakes up looking very groomed for someone who's been in a coma for 9 months. When reconnecting with Iris, he finds out that he has powers. At first he thinks everything's slowing down, but in fact, he has super speed. He's then assisted by Caitlin Sisko and also Harrison Wells in order to find out the limitations of his powers. It's at this point where he has a flashback to the night of his mother's murder and realises that there was a figure within the electricity. This causes him to lose focus and crash and they later discover that he has fast regeneration, healing broken bones within 3 hours. When confronting Iris over dating Eddie, he then learns that he's not the only meta-human that was born on that day of the particle accelerator, where he has an altercation where he flips a car and tries to convince Joe that it's Clyde Martin who has been declared dead and not only that, tries to convince him of his meta powers of controlling the weather. This doesn't go well with Joe, so he gets a good scolding. Convinced that he needs to do something about these meta humans, Barry convinces Cisco and also Caitlin to help him, and they talk him through what he needs to do in order to counter the storm. The flash runs above 700 miles per hour in the opposite rotation, stopping the storm and saving the day. Well, not really. Being a little bit winded and defenseless, Martin almost has the Flash's numbers until Joe West turns up and pops him with two rounds. So really, he's the true hero of this episode. With his mask off, Joe finds out that it's Barry, and Barry promises not to tell Iris in order to keep her safe. I had a cousin got hit by lightning once. He just developed a stutter. Moving on to the review part now, if you haven't actually seen this before, there is just a bit of a disclaimer here. There are spoilers ahead and you have been warned. After watching season 1 for the second time, something definitely becomes apparent. On first viewing, you can actually suspend your disbelief because Barry does make a lot of mistakes and this can be chalked up to the fact that he is new to the hero business. He is not yet familiar with his full potential or what his abilities are capable of. One of the flaws of a hero and a flaw in his character is that he always believes in the best of people. He always wants to give the criminals and the meta-humans some kind of chance to turn themselves over or to turn over over to the side of good. This is regardless of whether or not they've shown they're on the side of evil, and whether or not they've proven that they are a danger to everyone around them. Barry still insists on the better nature of people. This does mean that there are some moments within season 1 that are actually kind of painful to watch. This is especially when he's getting bested by D-list characters such as Captain Cold, villains that he should be able to defeat in the story arc within 5 minutes. There are so many moments and situations where the Flash should just win if he just used his noggin and actually used his speed. Instead, he'll stand around and socialise with the villains before getting owned by them. It really does seem like the concept of time and the Flash do not mix well together, because it is painfully obvious what is causing the issue and that's the overall formatting of the show in 
the form of its actual runtime being an hour instead of being something that is more reasonable like 30 minutes. I honestly do believe if it was 30 minutes for a runtime, this show would move faster, hit harder, have better pacing, and not be weighed down by emotional and dramatized scenes. For instance, this whole dance between Iris and Barry, will they, won't they, nonsense, I, I'm just not invested, honestly guys, I'm just not. We all know the hero gets the girl at the end of the day, well he might not do it in this season, but we all know in a future season that is coming up, it doesn't take half a brain to even work that out. In terms of relationships that develop over the time of the show, I guess the most interesting one is with Eddie, because he puts everything on the line, he sacrifices everything with Iris in order to keep the identity of Barry a secret. And what's even more honourable about this is that they're conflicting love interests. But Eddie's a top guy anyway, because he sacrifices himself in order to make sure that Eobard, Eobard, e e e Eobard, Eobard. Reverse Flash, I always mess up his name. That dude, because he's actually related, meaning if he dies, then Eobard would not exist. I guarantee right now I am still saying his name wrong. Which moves me on to the most enjoyable part of season 1 that I personally think is the best part of it, and that is the duality between Reverse Flash and also Barry, with Reverse Flash actually being Harrison Wells, but he's not actually the real Harrison Wells, he's actually Eobard Farn, completely sorry for butchering his name, who is, get this, someone who already knows who Barry is and time travels back into the past to kill his mother, which his first intentions was to kill the Flash but he actually got stuck in the time period, he gets stuck because the speed force doesn't exist without Barry, and the only way that he can get home is by creating the particle explosion which hit Barry with the bolt of lightning that created the Flash. Yes, the story is satisfying and goes full circle and it's quite a mystery to unravel. For me, a lot of the other good moments within the show are actually just Team Flash goofing off. It's so much better when it's not over-dramatized and they keep it a bit light and there's some comedy in there too. I think overall the season has some good twists and turns, and I do believe it's very entertaining if you do shut off your brain and you don't think about how they actually defeated the Meta Humans, or if you don't think about the fact that Barry could just at any point slap on some Meta Cuffs and relocate them to the prison without breaking a sweat, which he actually does and it shows you how easy that actually is for him. But again, the writers have to deal with the runtime. Those problems do get amplified in future seasons. Altogether though, I would say season one is the most enjoyable for me to watch personally. Overall, I do recommend this season if you've not actually seen The Flash, and these have just been some of my thoughts on this series. I am very interested to see what you guys think of the flash down below, so please do comment. If you liked today's video and enjoyed what it was that I did here, then please smash the like button for me. Also, get subscribed to the channel if you are new. And with that said, I have been the one and only Tech Evolved, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.